Ladies and gentlemen, these are my predictions for WrestleMania 40. So this prediction video is brought to you guys by SeatGeek. So if you guys are looking for tickets for any event in the entire world, get them through SeatGeek. Just use my last name code hot to check out. You actually get $20 off your tickets. And this is for first time orders, guys. So if you guys have used Seek before, just make it like a new account, like a new email or phone number or something. You guys can still use the code and get $20 off for any ticket in the entire world. Just using my last name code hot to check out over on SeatGeek. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this time is finally Among Us. I can't believe it's already time for WrestleMania 40. It's, it's just shocking. It's literally like one week from today will be WrestleMania night two. So it's actually only six nights from today. This is like absolutely crazy. So WrestleMania 40 is already here, making me feel old. But the first WrestleMania I ever watched was like WrestleMania 26 or something like that. It's like, how freaking old have I become? That's insane. It's literally just. <laughs> it's insane, but I'm excited guys. I've got a totally stacked card, of course, doing a two-night WrestleMania. So there's a bunch of matches. They're not all announced yet. Uh, I think they're planning to do around seven or eight matches per night. Uh, right now we have 11 matches confirmed. So let's very quickly, let's try to get through all 11 matches for all the WrestleMania card for both nights. All right, the first match we have is going to be a six women's tag match. Six women tag. There's, there's six ladies in the match. All right. So we got Bianca Belair teaming up with Jade Cargill. Teaming up up with Naomi to take on the team of Damage Control. So who's winning this? I, I'm going to go with uh, definitely uh, Jade's team to win considering this is her WrestleMania uh, debut and this is like literally they've invested so much in this lady. So I, I definitely think she's going to be winning this uh, no matter what team she was going to be on. Her team was going to win. So it's going to be the team of Bianca Belair, the team of Jade Cargill, and the team of Naomi to defeat Damage Control. All right, the next match we have L.A. Knight versus A.J. Styles. Oh, what a matchup we have here. Uh, they both need really to win this match, but uh, maybe it's going to like a, a DQ or something like that. I don't know. i got to predict someone, though. My prediction for this match, I'm going to go with L.A. Knight. All right, the next match. The next match is a ladder match for the Men's Tag Team Championship. So we have the champions, Judgment Day, defending against DIY, New Day, Awesome Truth, A-Town Down, and New Catch Republic. So this is an absolutely stacked match. This very well has the potential to like steal the whole freaking show. Like a ladder match is I absolutely love. It's a ladder match for the titles. Who's winning? You really gotta, are, are, is Judgment Day retaining? Can it be New Day getting another tag title? DIY doing their thing? Uh, one of these new teams doing their thing? Awesome Truth getting the tag titles? Like I'd love to see Awesome Truth with the tag titles. That'd be freaking phenomenal. I would love to see that. But I gotta predict someone. So my prediction for this match, I guess, I will go, this could literally go anyway because there's so many different people in this match, there's so many options. But ultimately, I have to choose someone here, so my prediction for this match will be the Judgment Day to continue their like reign of terror as tag champs or whatever they're doing. They all have titles, okay? They all have titles. All right, the next match will be Brother versus Brother. We have brothers fighting, guys. We got Jey Uso versus Jimmy Uso. Who's winning this match? It's got to go with Jey Uso. It's got to go with Jey Uso. You, you, you can't turn on Jey Uso. I'm pretty sure everyone predicting this is going to say Jey Uso. And it's got to be Jey Uso. All right, the next match. The next match is going to be for the United States Championship. So we have our current United States Champion, Logan Paul, defending his title against Kevin Owens and Randy Orton in a triple threat match. Who's walking away with the title? I don't know. The Viper Randy Orton's back. He's hot from off the injury. He's looking like a million bucks. Randy Orton, put him in the title match. He's not going to win it. You kidding me? No, he's going to win it. My prediction for this match is the Viper, Randy Orton, to be our brand new United States Champion. All right, the next match. The next match is for the Intercontinental Championship. We have the current long-reigning, undefeated champion of Gunther taking on Sami Zayn. Is Sami Zayn going to defeat the streak? Is he going to take the title off Gunther? It's not happening. Gunther's going to keep going, and he may be the longest-reigning Intercontinental Champion in WWE history. I don't know. He's going to keep the title for much longer. I know that for sure. All right, the next match is for the Women's World Championships. So the Women's World title is held by Rhea Ripley. She'll be defending that against Becky Lynch. Is Rhea dropping the title here? Is Becky taking the title? No, I don't think Becky's taking the title here. I think Rhea is going to win. So my prediction is Rhea Ripley to retain her title. Uh, however, I don't see this really being clean. You can't make Becky look weak because she's Becky freaking Lynch. Uh, but maybe uh, DQ or something, some kind of shenanigans is going on, some kind of cheating or something with Rhea keeping that title. All right, the next match is for the women's title, and this will be the uh, Royal Rumble Redemption match. So Bailey's going to be redeeming her Royal Rumble uh, win uh, to, to challenge uh, Io Sky for the uh, women's title. So this is the Rumble Rumble winner's redemption match. So basically, who's winning this? The Royal Rumble winner 
or the champion. I'm gonna say the Rumble winner. Bailey's gonna be winning this match just because like she's a Royal Rumble winner, and I feel like Rumble winners should pretty much always win the title unless it's like some kind of crazy circumstance. And I think it's I think it's just time. I think it's just time to switch things up and they can continue the feud going on through the springtime. Uh, so I'm gonna be going with Bailey to be the brand new women's champion. All right, the next match is for the World Heavyweight Championship. So we have our current World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins, defending his title against Drew McIntyre. So Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins, who's winning this? And this could literally go anyway. And I think a big factor to talk about here is CM Punk. Because CM Punk's be coming off that injury sometime in the near future. And the first match, the first feud he's supposed to have is supposed to be against Seth Rollins. And I believe it should be for the championship. So I believe Seth Rollins should retain here. I think Drew McIntyre is, uh, has a hell of a gimmick right now, a brand new character. It's wonderful. He's doing great things. But I don't think it's time for him to win the title right now. So I don't think Drew's going to be winning this. And I know this is a very, very hard one to predict. It can literally go either way. But I'm going to be going with Seth Rollins to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. The next match is the main event of WrestleMania night number one. We have Cody Rhodes teaming up with Seth Rollins to take the team of, get this, get this, Roman Reigns, our own Universal Champion, and The Rock teaming up together to take the month. So who's winning this? This is a tough one. I, I, I believe Rock and Roman are probably going to win this thing, but it could have some kind of shenanigans going on in the match, some kind of crazy, unpredictable stuff, some surprises, maybe some uh, little, little glass break, little stone cold, Steve Austin, little rattlesnake action going on. I don't know. Anything can happen at WrestleMania. Uh, but I'm gonna actually going to be going with Rock and Roman to win this because of my prediction for the next match. The next match is your main event of all of WrestleMania, the main event of WrestleMania night number two. It is for the undisputed Universal Championship. We have the current champion here ahead of the table. Roman Reigns defending his title against uh, the guy who's going to finish his story. We have Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. So yeah, this is going to be a hell of a match. This is a rematch from last year's WrestleMania. They didn't want this match this year to happen. WWE wasn't planning to do this match. The fans demanded it. The fans would not quit until they got this match. So now we got it. We got Cody versus Roman Reigns. So who is winning this match? Who is walking out of Philadelphia, the Universal Champion? That's a big question here. So on one hand, if Roman retains this, a lot of people are going to be mad first off. It's going to be like the biggest hatred reaction, the biggest reaction of, of the WWE fans ever in history probably if he retains the title. However, if he retains the title, he can go on to beat Hulk Hogan's reign and be like the longest reigning whatever, not champion ever, but like beat Hogan and be in that spot. So it's not always like Hogan's the guy, Hogan's better than Roman because his, his, his streak was longer or whatever. So you got that to, in that hand. But the other hand... He had Cody Rhodes finishing his story. He has to finish his story. Your fans are going to go freaking crazy. Plus, you can't have him lose like two years in a row. It makes him look extremely weak. And you can't have him go through this entire underdog story and not win the title. So, I mean, there's trade-offs. There's horrible things, good things about each side of it. Uh, but which one's going to win? I believe what they're actually going to do is this going to happen, guys. For the first time in literally years upon years upon years... Roman Reigns is going to lose, but I really hate saying that because I've been such a big, huge Roman fan through this entire run. I love this gimmick, and every time I've ever doubted Roman in this run, Roman has, has 100% uh, won the match. So I really hate to do this, but I am going to say my prediction for this match is Cody Rhodes is going to finish his story and become the brand new Universal Champion and pretty much the face and future of the WWE. In that one, I really don't know. It, it pains me. I can see it going either way. I've always been more of a Roman fan. Is Cody the guy? He's, he's starting to look like that guy uh, to, to defeat Roman and have him do all that. And then we have the whole Rock and Roman thing they could do, but they don't need the title to do that like next year's Mania. So I don't know. This one's a tough one, and it's going to be a really tough main event and a, a lot of excitement, a lot of uh, sitting on the edge of your seat or standing through the whole match going, oh, what's going to happen here? I absolutely cannot wait. WrestleMania 40 is going to be freaking amazing, guys. Unfortunately, I'm not going this year, but I'm going to be watching here doing reactions for you guys. So WrestleMania reactions will be up literally the day of the show. So hope you guys are hyped for that. I'm ready to watch it. I'll be at the edge of my seat the entire time. Excited just like everyone. This WrestleMania is going to go down as like one of the greatest WrestleManias literally of all time. So let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. But thank you guys for watching this video. I am your one and only undisputed king of vlog style, Brandon Edge. And I will see you guys in the next video.